Welcome to the uh, Sundance TV headquarters for today's Women Breaking Barriers panel, uh, brought to you by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Thank you. Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you here, and especially my wonderful panelists, five accomplished, talented, wonderful, beautiful, inside-out women that have broken many barriers. We have a problem that starts at the top and, and pushes down. It's a cultural problem. Harassment, which has been sort of the cause that's caused all of this, is a symptom that happens when you get a very male system that can, continues to make male choices, hire males, males making decisions about content, and then there's a harboring of uh, behavior that can turn harassing. The interest, the publicity interest, the press interest, is surrounding women. And I have to say, for somebody who seven years ago couldn't get a single article in a trade paper about what was happening with women in Hollywood, now there isn't a minute or a day or a week or a month that goes by where we're not talking about this. I struggled a lot with myself before I was willing to let myself be me. And so that was, that was the first barrier. And then when I was told that I would only play maids and uh, drug addicts, well, I mean, <laughs> there's some maids, right? <laughs> maids have been kind to me. I would love to have played that maid. Great, you know? love the maid roles. <laughs> yeah, so, so the bottom line for me is just, over and over again, the barrier is there and then finding a way to ignore it or move beyond it. I don't feel that this is just a passing fad. We are talking about times having come to a, a point where real change is not only necessary, there are enough people who are conscious, who see that the way that we've done things in the past does not work and that we cannot go forward without making real change. Our show is examining that because we're actually really dealing with the female psyche. And I feel like my character is going through existential crisis all the time. That doesn't necessarily have to do with her husband, has to do with her own uh, examination and search for herself. Yeah. And so if that's the thing, it's like the, the storytelling that was happening at 30, 40 years ago, which is about what is, where are, where's the American male psyche? I do feel like I'm actively participating is, where is the female psyche now? On that note, <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you, my wonderful panel. We are very honored, and by we, I mean the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, to bestow a $50,000 grant towards the women's program of the Sundance Institute. Oh. Woo! I just want to say thank you so much to the Hollywood Foreign Press, and um, this means so much to everybody at Sundance. You've supported us in our work um, for many years with international filmmakers, but supporting the women filmmakers at Sundance uh, has been very meaningful to us, and to have your help in doing this um, is extraordinary. So thank you, and thanks for all you do with, uh, with your efforts. Thank, thank you. Okay, lady. <laughs> <laughs> and then singles on TV. Yeah. Woo!